let's try this again. So this is part two of the unboxing of my refurbished iPhone from eBay. On part one, I had a phone that had a pretty big scratch on the front, even though they advertised that there would be no visible scratches when the screen was on. So I went ahead and returned that and bought this phone and let's unbox it. All right, so let's see what we got. Okay, so they bubble wrapped it this time and we have a slightly different case. So um, something I realized, the last phone I bought technically was used. They put the wrong tag in the eBay title saying that it was manufactured refurbished when in reality that was a used phone. This one should be actually refurbished. So I guess we'll find out. The bubble wrap is kind of like sticky, but same thing. The phone has the big sticker on the front. So let's go ahead and get in this case. Uh, I'm kind of like worried. I don't want to scratch the case. Okay, so now this just opens up. And I would like to say that this company gave me 10% off this phone because of the experience of the last one. So that is really cool. It definitely uh, kind of proves my point that buying from a bigger company is a better idea because they're more willing to help you out because they want to keep their name good. So here's the phone and let's peel this sticker. Okay, so I don't see any blaring enormous scratches, which is nice, and this up here is not clogged full of dirt like last time. Um, the bottom, I mean, there's definitely less wear on this phone. I mean, you can see like some lint and stuff in some of these, but like that's basically normal. This phone is in pretty good condition. We got some scratches up here, if it'll focus. I guess it's not gonna focus, but there are a few scratches up there, nothing big, and um, nothing I'd be worried about. The phone, I'm trying to see if it's bent, I don't think so. It looks pretty straight. So the back um, definitely has a little bit of wear, but I mean, I'm gonna put a case on it anyways. So I guess we just need to see if it turns on. But other than that, this definitely looks better than the last phone. One thing I'm gonna check See if these screws have been used a bunch. So once again, I got some navy blue accessories. Wish they were black, but oh well. Um, another sim thing. I guess it doesn't look like it's been scratched up. So sweet. It's actually charged. That is really nice. My last one was like dead on the spot. Probably because the battery was at 86%. See, oh, no free SIM card. I was half expecting someone to have accidentally left their SIM card in there. But anyways, I'm gonna set this phone up and then we're gonna go check out the battery. Okay, so I just put my case on it. This is the OtterBox Symmetry case, Cosmic Edition. Um, so let's go find our battery settings. So our battery health is at 86%, which I think is the same percent my last phone was at. So we'll see how that does. Um, I can always replace an iPhone 6S battery, no problem. I've done that a few times. So I kind of planned on having to do that eventually with a refurbished phone. And it only costs like another like 20 or $30, maybe less by now. But overall, this phone is definitely in a lot better condition. And I'm definitely happy to have a good screen with like no scratches. The screen must be like brand new because there's like literally not one scratch on it. So thank you, Smarter Phone. This is really nice and I hope it lasts me a while.